I'm joined now by the CEO of Feeding the Valley Food Bank. That's Frank Shepard. And Frank, you're telling us about secondary markets. What's going on? Sure, uh, Jim, we're just, we're experiencing the biggest food shortage we have in, in the 40 years of food banking. And it's, uh, it's pandemic related. It's really a number of causes. Uh, our, our federal government and state governments provided a plentiful amount of food during the pandemic to help so many more people in need. And those supply lines are just a little slow to replenish. Then you have the whole supply chain issue. Things are just taking three, four, five, ten times as long to get to us as they used to. And rampant inflation uh, is uh, affecting a lot of uh, people, a lot of our donors um, uh, as well. So it's really uh, just a perfect storm, unfortunately, of circumstances that uh, has got uh, our inventories at, at record low levels. Meanwhile, how's the need of the public? That's the unfortunate part is it's still increased. It's still 35% above pre-pandemic levels. So it's the, it's the wicked combination of uh, uh, increased demand and low supply. But uh, we're working through those issues and, and uh, continue to get people fed. That was the question. You are still able to provide for folks right now. Absolutely. Still have. You know, we, we had a great inventory reserves uh, built up uh, with all the food that came to us. Um, during the pandemic, especially on the, the back end of the pandemic. Uh, we warehoused all that uh, that we possibly could. So we're still getting food out there. We're dipping into our uh, reserves and purchasing food uh, for items that we are having trouble getting. So we're still meeting the demand, not at the level we'd like to though. So we look forward to getting those inventory levels back up and getting more and more food out in the community. Schools will be recessing for the summer uh, real soon at the end of this week. Are there concerns about the kids that won't be getting those meals at school? Absolutely. Our summer feeding uh, triples um, uh, from the, uh, the regular school year feeding. Uh, we feed so many kids in, uh, in so many areas. And uh, yeah, you know, so many kids uh, rely on school breakfast and lunch don't have that uh, at their availability for the summer. So we open more sites and feed more kids. We're prepared for that. Um, and we know it's going gonna, it's gonna to tighten our, our uh, our belt strings a little bit, but that's okay. We're gonna make sure uh, the kids uh, have meals uh, during the summer to get them through. How can the people at community help? You know, they can always uh, donate um, food items. They can go to our warehouse, 1706 Lido Road and donate anytime, uh, Monday through Thursday. Uh, they can go online at feedinthevalley.org and make a financial donation. Uh, those help tremendously. Uh, they can start food drives at their business, their civic group, or their church. Also very helpful. Uh, every bit helps and really uh, um, gives us the ability to provide those uh, meals, especially those additional ones during the summer. Frank Shepard, the CEO of Feeding the Valley. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jim.